wind is an external force. A boat with high sides is more affected by wind than a boat with low sides. A boat with a high bow will be wind affected on the bow first. A boat with a high transom will be wind affected on the transom first. Current is an external force. A vessel with more of its hull under water will be more affected by current than a shallow draft vessel. The hull of the boat is the part that is in contact with the water that the boat is trying to move through. The normal rules of friction apply between the hull and the surface of the water. Hull shape affects speed and maneuverability. The berth shown here is a key. When approaching a berth like this we must consider how the solid nature of the key wall interacts with the current to affect your boat. These moorings are called slips. The current is free to flow under and between the berths. Every time we do a berthing or unberthing, the external forces on the boat can be different. On the day and at the time shown in this diagram, the helmsman has to maneuver the boat with a current on her port side and pushing her boat away from her berth. This is a straightforward maneuver provided the boat has enough power to match and just surpass the speed of the current. Every time we do a berthing or unberthing, the external forces on the boat can be different. On the day and at the time shown in this diagram, the helmsman has to maneuver the boat with a current on her starboard side and pushing her boat onto her berth. This is not so straightforward. The boat is being pushed onto the berth. If the current is very strong and or the approach speed is not right, the boat can be pushed onto the berth too quickly and cause damage. Every time we do a berthing or unberthing, the external forces on the boat can be different. On the day and at the time shown in this diagram, the helmsman has to maneuver the boat with an offshore wind on her bow and pushing her boat away from her berth. This is a straightforward maneuver provided the boat has enough power to match and just surpass the leeway caused by the wind. Every time we do a berthing or unberthing, the external forces on the boat can be different. On the day and at the time shown in this diagram, the helmsman has to maneuver the boat with the wind from her stern and pushing her boat onto her berth. This is not so straightforward. The boat is being pushed onto the berth. If the wind is very strong and or the approach speed is not right, the boat can be pushed onto the berth too quickly and cause damage. 